Good morning. Happy Friday. It's great to be with you guys here today. Thank you for joining me on this beautiful Friday morning. If you're here watching live, type in the words hashtag live, the hashtag and then live in the, down there or hashtag replay. If you're watching the replay, thank you so much for joining me. Uh, I decided I'm going to be going live here Monday through Friday at this time right here on my Facebook. So if you want to come hang out with me, get a little motivation to get your day off to a great start, you can join me every day, Monday through Friday at the same time. Do a little quick call to get your day off to a great start. And a couple tips to help you have a great day today. The first thing I want you to think about is how long are you going to work until today? So my finish line today is 530 so what does that mean? Eric, take today through the finish line. So I want to invite you right now to declare what is your finish line. And if you feel like it, just type it in the chat. Hey, my finish line is 5.30 or my finish line is 4 o'clock or I'm working a half day today. My finish line is 1, right? And if, you're, if you do half days on Friday, awesome. But my invitation for you is if today's a full day, my invitation is you don't shut it down at one. <laughs> Only shut it down at one if that's your intention. Now, if you write down or type that this is my, my finish line, like mine sit at 530, right? So me knowing that and me writing that, that makes a difference. Okay, then the next mindset is take today through the finish line. And you know what a lot of people do? They, they shut their day down early, and I would only advise you to do that if that's your intention. If you're wanting to do lesser than a full day, but if, if you're a person that like, hey, I'm working till whatever time, take today through the finish line. And then what I want you to do next is I want you to consider what level are you committed to playing at today on a scale of one to 10? And my answer is 10. I'm playing at 10 today. What level are you gonna play at today? And it's up to you. You create it however you want to create it. You're like, Eric, hey, today I'm feeling seven. Awesome. Or I'm feeling, I'm feeling a nine today, Eric, or I'm feeling a 10. And if you want to declare how you're going to show up, feel free to type that in the chat. Hey, Eric, I'm, I'm be like, you. I'm playing a 10 today, or I'm playing an eight, or whatever that, whatever that number is. Because here's the thing. Who decides what level you play at? Right. We decide. I decide, you decide. And the level you play at is a choice. Right now, I'm being motivated, right? I'm being motivational in this moment. That's a choice. I, I could have chose to be a grumpy bear. <laughs> right? I could have chose, hey, today I'm going to be grumpy. Today's Friday. Today's going to be a rough day. I could create my day like that. Or I could create today and be like, today's going to be awesome. I'm going to have a great day today. All right, next idea is um, what are your two most important outcomes today? So I want to encourage you to just, just give a little bit of thought and think, well, what, what do I need to do today? And what are my two most important outcomes? And that's really a conversation around prioritizing. Now, I got a challenge for you guys today. It's called the Procrastination Challenge. The Procrastination Challenge is I want you to do one thing today, at least one that you've been procrastinating on. So if you're willing to accept the procrastination challenge, type the word yes in the chat right now. If you're willing to accept the procrastination challenge, type the word yes in the chat right now, and then just put on your thinking cap and go, you know, what have I been procrastinating on? And maybe there's just some project you've been needing to get to. Right, I got in a little fender bender the other other day. Nothing, my car's okay, but it, it needs a little bit of work. It's drivable. There's no no mechanical issues, no no injuries, but a little fender bender. I need. I've been procrastinating on getting the information to the insurance company. So that'll be my what I'm going to get done today. Procrastination challenge. A lot of you are going to do that challenge with me. That's awesome. Okay, the next thing I want to do is I want to have a conversation with you about resistance. And what I want you to do is I want you to explore 
why am I resisting? So today, I just got off a, a, a call. I did a prospecting training. And if any of you would like the recording, it was about 45 minutes. It was really awesome. And I'd love to share it with you. If you weren't on there and if, you, if you're interested in learning more about prospecting and you'd like the recording, then just send me a Facebook message, direct message on Facebook and ask me for it. Or you can email me at eric at ericoffhome.com and ask me for the prospecting recording and I'll happily send it to you. Well, I'm bringing up prospecting because a lot of people have resistance to prospecting. So whether you have resistance to prospecting or going to the gym or investing or fill in the blank, I want to invite you to ask yourself this question, why am I resisting? And see if you can give yourself a breakthrough. Sometimes I'll coach myself, right? And I'm coaching myself out of observing my thoughts. Observe your thoughts around resistance and ask your brain, why am I resisting? And see if that gives you any insight that could create a breakthrough for you. And then the next thing I want you to consider is, could I let go of the resistance? And that's a really interesting thing. I had a, um, a conflict with my, with my teenage daughter and I took a position and she took a position and I was resisting embracing her position. And so we were like this. And I just sat with it. And I was looking at the position I was coming from and I was like, could I let go of my position? Am I willing to let go of my position? And a, a fascinating thing happened. When I let go of my position and my resistance to what my daughter wanted, she wanted it away and I wanted it away. And we are, you know, we're loft homes. We dug our heels in. And I, I took a look at it and I was like, I don't need to be stuck on this position. You can just let it go. And you know what happened? The moment I let it go, the problem, snap your fingers, disappeared like magic. It wasn't magic. It was letting it go. I had conflict with a, a family member and I had taken a position and they had taken a position and I was working with my coach and my coach said, Eric, your Achilles heel is forgiveness. And I sat with that idea because I had dug my heels in on the certain situation and I wasn't being forgiving. And when my coach said, Eric, your Achilles heel is forgiveness. And I sat with that. I was like, you know what? I'm going to let go of my position and be loving. And in that situation, snap your fingers like magic. The, the, the problem disappeared. Not because of what the other person did, because I shifted how I was approaching the situation. So when you're resisting something, you, you're probably taking a position on something. Like if you're resisting prospecting, the position is... Um, I'm afraid of rejection. They're going to reject me. They're going to say no. I'm uncomfortable prospecting. And that's a position. I'm uncomfortable prospecting. Well, could you let go of that? Could you look at it in a different way? That's the whole idea of sitting with something. Sit with it. Be with it. In other words, instead of being resistance, what else could I be? I could be courageous. I could be bold. I could be commitment. I could be massive action. One of my superpowers, and anybody could do it, it's not something I was born with, it's something I learned. One of my superpowers is I learned how to be massive action. So I show up in the world, if you followed me around, you'd be like, dang, Eric, you take a lot of action. Yeah, because I choose, I consciously choose to be massive action. And you know what a lot of people choose without even realizing it? They choose, I am inconsistent as a declaration, as a way of being. They're choosing, I am inconsistent. I am a procrastinator. 
I know I need to go to the gym, but I never go. I know what I need to do, but I can't get myself to take action. Okay, that's a creation with language. So how is it that I'm massive action? Is that some special thing I was given? No, I create, I am massive action with my language. And then I just be that out of choice. So somebody who says I am inconsistent, they're, it's, it's, not, it's not that that's who they are. They're being inconsistent. Being implies choice. So what you can be today, you can be today, I take today through the finish line. You can be massive action. You can be productive. You can be, I take action on something I'm, I'm procrastinating on. You can be loving. And I'm going to wrap with one, one last story and we'll, we'll wrap up today. So I'm doing these now Monday through Friday at this time on Facebook Live. So if you guys want to hang out with me, if you know anybody else that you think might enjoy this, just tag them. Just tag him or tell him about it. Hey, this guy, Eric, does this thing now. It's a Facebook Live. He pops on here. He shares some motivation. The guy's excited. Come check it out, right? You tag your friends. You tell them about it. And then we'll have a few more folks that do it next week. That'd be awesome. So I'm going to wrap with this. So there's this gentleman that um, I was helping last year. And I met him in the bank parking lot where I bank. And uh, he was living in his car. And there was just this car that was in the parking lot that didn't look like it belonged because it he was living in his car. He was that was like where he lived in the bank parking lot. And in my community, there's there's not a lot of homelessness. And so anyway, one day I walked up to him and I said, Hi, my name's Eric. And he goes, I'm Darren. And that started a friendship. And I started doing things to motivate and encourage Darren. In some cases, I was giving him money and I walked him into the bank one day and we set up a bank account for him and just doing all these things to love on this human being. And we had, we had a falling out and I'm not going to get into the details of what happened because that doesn't matter. But you probably in your lifetime at some point have had a falling out with somebody, right? Like you were in relationship and then you had a falling out. And so we had a falling out. And this went on for many, many months. And this week I was thinking about it. And I was thinking about Darren and I was like, you know what? I, the falling out on my side came out of fear. Something occurred and I got afraid and I thought, you know what? I, I need to distance myself. And so that's what I chose to do. And then the other day I got to thinking and I thought, you know what? I want to just be loving. And so I reached out to him and I found out he'd moved out of the area and he still is needing support. And anyway, the point of the story is this. I had taken a position. My position was I am fearful. And so then my actions were fearful. And I said, I got to distance myself from this human being. And that's what I chose to do. And then as I thought more about it recently, I thought, you know what? I'm going to let go of being fearful and I'm going to be loving. And I reached out to him in a loving way. And an amazing thing happened. I did not ask him to apologize or anything. And he gave me an apology. He's like, hey, I'm sorry about what happened. I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. I wasn't looking for an apology. I just wanted to be loving. But out of me being loving, it created an apology. But it was interesting for me to notice how me being afraid caused me to show up a certain way and me being loving caused me to show up a certain way. So anyway, if you got anything out of today's Facebook Live, type word yes in the chat. And I have one last, just a little quick thing to tell you. As people comment on my Facebook Lives, on these motivational calls, I'd love it if you'd hit the like button on their comment. Acknowledge their comment by hitting the like button. That would be like super awesome um, because it's, it's just a way of acknowledging somebody's comment. So we'll do this again on Monday on my personal Facebook page here. And I come back on Monday at 745 Pacific if you want to hang out with me. If you know anybody else you think might enjoy it, let them know about it. Thanks for being here today, guys. Have a great day. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.